So I'm out, I'm about to go for a ride and that makes me very excited. But even more exciting is today, I get to test out a super secret new Strava feature that's not been released to everyone else. And I love Strava. I've been using it since, since the beginning, it feels like. I, God only knows how many years, but yeah, I absolutely love Strava. So to be working with them is super, super cool. So the new feature is, da, 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 drum roll. It is routing. The reason why this is really, really, really cool is because it allows you to open the Strava app, have a look at where you are, and then input how many kilometers you want to ride for, whether you want that ride to be hilly or to avoid hills, what kind of surface you want to ride on, and it will then generate uh, three different routes that you can select from to then go and ride. So it means that you can find new routes where you live, but what I like about it is I can turn up anywhere open the app and really 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 easily figure out where to go for a ride given the current weird world situation obviously i'm not traveling at the moment however what i am doing is exploring my local area on my own not doing group rides not going to coffee shops not doing any of that so this is allowing me to just go a short distance down the road from where i live but just explore a whole new area so I've come to Honiton. I am going to go off into the Blackerdown Hills, which is an area I've always wanted to explore. So let's open the app and have a look at where it suggests I go. <coughs> Okay, so this looks like a pretty decent route. You can see that it circumnavigates the uh, Blackerdown Hills. I think that one might be good. You know, a thousand meters of climbing for that kind of length of ride is pretty standard for this area. I think I'm just gonna send this straight to my cycling computer and then use that to navigate and yeah, see what I discover in this nice area of the world. So I'm also testing out today my new Apadura race race bar bag race bag which is pretty cool because you can open it super easily there aren't any races going on at the moment so i don't know how much i need a race bar bag for those but i think that's going to be very handy for my camera uh, i've also put my speed play pedals back on because i've been having a bit of um ankle pain i have not very flexible ankles and I find that these are much better because they have a lot more float. So I've got my Apidura bar bag and my speed plays and the Strava explore feature to test out today on this nice route. fortunate position to be in. Of course, it's hilly this week, Devon. Wait a minute, actually, are we still in Devon? glasses from Smith. Uh, the route is it's okay. The thing with um, having a randomly generated route, well it's not random actually, I'll tell you more about that in a minute, but the thing about using a route generated by someone else is you're kind of taking your chances and I didn't pay much attention to the routes that were suggested by Strava, I just picked this one. The route's a bit straight and flat. Back to the point about it being a randomly generated route, they're actually not random. Uh, so um, there's a lot of open source data that other apps uh, use to create routes. But the thing that Strava has that's unique is they have all our user data. So they can see all the most popular rides in the area and they add that to the other open source data. And when therefore, when they generate their ride suggestions, they are using huge amounts of information 
gathered from real riders like us. So let's do more riding. I think there is even a glimmer of brightness coming to the sky, is that? No, nah, it's not sun, I'm just being my usual optimistic self. It is grey, but I'm on my bike, I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so cold, I can't even use my hands properly, but anyway, I've come here to film a video about doing this Strava thing, so that is what I'll do. So, on the explore part of the Strava app, there's this bit that you can click so that you choose um, paved routes only. I didn't click that, so... Yeah, uh, canal towpath on the road bike, but whatever, it's just a bit bumpy. But I'll tell you what, I am so cold. You know I'm normally a positive person, but right now I'm like, get me back to that van, damn it. <laughs> it is super pretty along here though. I'm just freezing and I need the toilet so much. But anyway, moan, 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 moan. <sighs> well, I've given up. Obviously not on the ride entirely because I have to ride back to the start, but I have found a lovely cozy pub. I've got a coffee. I couldn't even pick this cup up when I first got the coffee because um, my fingers are so, so cold and I've got chill blains from them coming back to life. It's so intensely painful. I don't know if you've ever had chill blains, but oh my God, oh my God, oh God. But it's a bit of a shame that I can't see much because the weather's terrible and um, because I'm freezing so I'm kind of riding with my head down just trying to get back to the van because we are in the Blacker Down Hills. It is incredibly beautiful round here so I might have to repeat this ride when um, it's not just revolting weather. The Strava app seems great for exploring but English weather isn't cooperating but uh, never mind I've got a coffee. I am gonna neck this then I think it's just head down pedal to the metal I'm gonna go as fast as I can back to Honiton because yeah home time for me please please <laughs> I'm so cold Ooh. world's teeniest tiniest fire I'm practically sitting on top of it I'm so cold another stunning view giant sunglasses on for all that sun oh English weather so beautiful oh dear I've definitely taken a wrong turn I'm near Canada well, of course, it is all dry, warm, and quite lovely now I'm back to the start after kind of quite an arduous ride that was meant to be pretty straightforward and easy, but thanks to the weather forecast being wrong and me not having the right clothes on, turned into a bit of a brutal battle with the weather. Anyway, it was nice to try out Strava's Explore, and I'm looking forward to doing that again when it isn't absolutely Baltic. It was also nice to try out the Speedplay pedals on my road bike definitely sticking with them really really felt so much better and the Apodura um, bar bag love it let me show you so what's so cool about it is you can open it get your camera out or whatever and close it one-handed it's like really 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 easy to use really easy so I've been using this the whole ride no worries stuff doesn't fall out it stays shut so yeah we are liking the Apajora bag. Anyway, I do hope that video wasn't too lonely. I promise I will wear more clothes on the next ride and not take summer gloves in winter. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know when you've tried Strava's Explore feature. Uh, I've put a link down there so that you can follow me on Strava if you don't do that already. Give us a follow. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.